Alright, we are in New York City at the Americana, I think that's what you call it. The hustle and bustle in New York outside, I'm here for men's health. But we've got a power pack trip that we're going to take you along. i got Trayvon Deere behind the camera, we're capturing the whole thing. We came here to shoot men's health. I literally came to New York City in 1998, 1999, hoping to work with men's health. 25 years later, here we are. Yes, legitly 25 years later. It's wild. So I'm super excited. But not only are we going to men's health, we're actually going to Yankees game right now. It's the night before. Got men's health call time. Legit sheet they sent to me. It's at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Talent arrives at 8. That's your boy. And then we're going to Barstool Sports to see Feidelberg. Actually, pick up Feidelberg. Tour the office. Head over to Kenny Santucci's. You know, uh, famously from the Road Rules and Strength New York. We're going to do the 1,000-pound club of Feidelberg. It's going to be awesome. So not only are we hanging out at Men's Health, we're hanging out with fights. We're hanging out with Kenny Santucci. And you are along for the ride. I can't wait to take you. Let's go. after the Yankees game, which was dope. Uh, me and Trayvon got to see some, like, Aaron Judge hit an absolute monster home run, which was cool. Um, one thing that's a little bit uh, interesting about this process is, uh, I'm going to come back to flying. Cabin pressure messes your body up a little bit. So, you know, always a little concerning when I travel to do photo shoots and things like that. So I try to wake up in the morning, get moving, you know, follow everything normal, but also there's always different light, different situations. So no matter how long you've been doing this, there's always that little bit of uncertainty, no matter how much you prepare and whatever you do, because you're in a different, oh, it's not like I'm at old school gym, I'm at, slept in my own bed, didn't fly, you know what I'm saying? So I feel pretty good. I got up, kind of did my normal routine after I slept in a little bit, got a quick pump on in the gym, down in the dungeon here in this old hotel, took a shower, now I'm just uh, actually, Watching, uh, I was watching the vlog from Muscle Island from last week, and just really, <clears throat> really preparing my mind for what I believe is going to be one of the coolest days I've had in a while. Super excited about it. Um, all the prep time is over. I've done everything I could absolutely do uh, in the period of time that I had to be here, and so now I'm excited to just execute, have fun, um, create quality content, and then uh, you know, kind of capture the process so you can see what it is to come to New York, do photo shoots. Uh, we got the call time at 8 o'clock at the Hearst Tower, um, and it's on. Looking forward to it. So, shout out Cole Susack. He's always going sleeveless. Your boy G don't go sleeveless very often, but it looks like that's what we're about to do today. So these are my uh, my picks and my gear. The gym we just checked out is super sick, which you will see very soon. And we are right here. So I'm gonna try on this gear, see what's up, get this thing moving. <laughs> Good, I'm gonna be. <laughs> Three, two, one. What's good, men's 
yourself your boy, Corey G. Now, I'm 45 years old. I'm a father of three. And I live the busy life. So how did I get this jacked? By training my ass off. And I'm better known as Corey G. of the creator of the Dad Bod Shred Workout. And for the last half decade, I've proven to guys everywhere, including myself, that you can always be strong and ripped no matter what. I've had injuries I've struggled through. In periods where I couldn't get all the workouts in like I wanted, I've battled all kinds of issues. But right now, I'm 185 pounds. And strong enough still to bench over 300. And you'll get it done in the Dad Bod Shred, which uses the tricks from all my own training, like the muscle AMRAPs, the time sets, the no rest supersets that are gonna push your muscles to the absolute limit. But I'll be there, sure to guide you through every bit of the action. So what are you waiting for? Head over to Men's Health MVP Premium at the link below and sign up. And here we go. So our first thing is gonna be incline dumbbell press. Now, when I do the incline, I try to make sure that I have a huge arch and I want to set these dumbbells right in this pocket on the outside of my chest. Up, squeeze at the top. Down, stretch. Up, squeeze at the top. So that mind-muscle connection that entire time is really important so you can get all of these fibers involved. And once again, I'm going to go 12 to 15 reps, really getting that stretch. Now, a lot of people, and I want to explain this, a lot of people sit on their incline like this. And if you're here, you're really not getting all the chest fibers. As soon as you take that arch like this, the way that the fibers run, you stretch and it sits right in that pocket, which will actually engage the upper chest. So once again, we'll finish the set. We're back up. Big stretch. Big squeeze. Whoa, there I go. And then we'll hit our 10 push-ups. One, two, three. Check your clock. So I've already done, I did the one-minute warm-up. I'm at five minutes, so I'm halfway through. Take a drink. Mm. Seven minutes for this workout, one minute for the one before. I'm starting to get a little baby pump in the chest. Hey, that's when you know it's working. Woo! What was that, maybe 30 seconds rest, maybe not. Set four. Now, for 15, up and wait for 10, back to 20. Got 12 minutes to get this done. So this is really programmed to make sure that you're pushing your weights a little bit in the gym, even though you're tired. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Beautifully done. Yeah, that work? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only three more. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, really clean. Good stuff. Thanks. I'll be going to get Epps here. We can take a quick break. Sweet. Three, two, one. What's good, your boy Corey G back here. We're gonna keep making that dad bod better. It is time for Roadmap Back, the Pump 30. So we're gonna start off right here with a wide grip pull down. Now, a lot of people well, you might be thinking, why am I calling it Roadmap Back? I wanna make sure when you're doing these pull downs, it looks like a roadmap. Literally, as you're pulling down, as you can see every muscle in that back, but you have to make sure you're doing them right. So right out the gate, I'm gonna fill it on my chest, and then we're doing chest. We got a 10 minute superset next. One arm row, dumbbell shrugs. Get that in athletic stance, post up, step arm here, and then get this arm, and then add that dumbbell and that pull. You take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here, some little shrugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, we're doing, we're doing good on this one. We're only at four minutes. I only got two sets left. This is the first one I've been on time. Woo! -hoo. So, hopefully, you're feeling this workout. Here is I'm trying to take the top of this seat row bar and put it right underneath my pec. When I'm in that pocket right there, I can squeeze my shoulder blades together, and that gives you the maximum amount of mid-back recruitment, just like that. So, all right. We're gonna hit the clock. We got four minutes, 10 sets of 10, and it's off. So, 
So, set up. One. Stretch. Squeeze. I follow like a three to one ratio usually of, so it's like uh, rear delts, upper back, and lats, then press. So it would be like rear delt, lat, like a medium grip pull down, and then, um, you know what I mean? So it's like a threefold, or I can say like, what's a good bicep pump? Three, four, five, yeah, six. You're gonna get to 10, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and then you're gonna wait 10 seconds, and then right back at it for another 10. 10 sets of 10, 10 seconds rest, that's the Corey G twist, the craziest bicep pump maybe of your life. <laughs> Go over to the Dad Bot Shred program over at Men's Health MVP Premium today. That was Yay! That was, <laughs> that, was, that was really freaking tight. Yeah. But with me, I have what I call the 100 rep explosion. So what does that mean? It means we're gonna do 100 lateral raises. You have three minutes to finish it. But here's the only rule. You can't do this. Not a lot of not a lot of slim down. So four, three, two, and one. That's 50. So we got 50 left. Time's doing pretty good. Uh, I would definitely say I'm full slice and dice currently at this time. You probably are too, which is good. We've got 50 reps left to finish the workout. No big deal. I can barely talk because my shoulders are so pumped up. We got 50 left. We'll break them off in sets 10, 2, 3. Four, five, gotta have a strategy. Six. I need to make sure that I go earlobes and up. So I don't go super deep. I don't bounce them off my shoulders. I go head neutral or up, earlobes up. Earlobes up. So we're gonna hit 12 reps. Three, four, five. We got our seven minute ham wrap for the dice part. And we finished it off with a 100 rep explosion lateral raises. And that is your slice and dice shoulders. And for more workouts like this, go over to Men's Health MVP. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, we I'll just have to do an outro. Three, two, one. And that is your slice and dice shoulders from your boy, Corey G. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's good. good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you need to keep your legs strong for a long life. That is your most powerful muscle group. That is how you get to do everything that you want to do and live this life. You must keep them strong. So it's so important that you work them. That is the key. Key to muscle mass, longevity, strength. Don't lose your legs. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, I'm losing my legs, this is the way you can get them back. Because if this becomes easy, you're going to be a beast. Ha. Four, three, Two, one, two, eight, double, nine, and ten. All right, stiff leg, dead legs. So I would say it's kind of a forgotten exercise, and I'm, your boy Corey G, bringing it to you on this men's health trainer. So, first off, we'll go hit the clock for five minutes. So we'll probably get literally two rounds. Rear foot elevated, which means the best way a lot of people mess this up is set this up is, Make sure that you're one really good like lunge away from the bench that you're putting your leg on. You're gonna just take this leg back and put it there. Now, you can see my leg shaking a little bit because we've been smoking them. You'll come down close to the bottom and then just pump 10 reps. Two, three, four. Double, two, last one. Ski slope legs! Ah, now. Five minutes lunges. I'm gonna start back here. I can't hide, I can't get away. Mama, <laughs> leg, day. We got five minutes. We wanna go knees behind the toe. That is Mama, I'm scared of leg day from your boy Corey G. Thank you. Corey G, I'm about to show you my quick 10 minute cardio that you can add to any program, especially the Dad Bod Shreds one. So it's one minute of jump rope. Put on your favorite song, get your jump rope going, and then in between, so it's one minute jump rope, one minute stationary lunges. I don't care if your jump rope looks like this or like this. You can make a difference, look good at the pool. That box that workouts! Let's go. Oh. Oh, got, a, got a couple to choose from. 
<laughs> we do want, we did, um, so I think the, the initials is good. Just yeah. Want, so we just need to almost get like a real quick ending. That's yep. Like the, I feel like people don't respond to CTAs very well. Unless yeah. It's like, so just sure. say like, um, just say like, um, you know, so that goes, that, like something like, you know, for more workouts like this or for more of like my style training, okay. um, check out the dad bread shit. Dab out your program on that self MVP. Okay. Yeah. Just shoot that clip. Um, yeah, I don't think you need yeah. to shoot it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Woo! For more workouts like this, that fuck. Three. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Woo. For more workouts like this, and that dad bod shreds workout, go over to Men's Health MVP. Thank you. Good. Great. Woo! Four, five, and six. Now we'll take a little breather. The goal is to try to get three rounds in four minutes. This is obviously one of my favorites. I go to these almost every arm workout, especially on my arms are swole, and I love it, which is exactly what they feel like right now. Count this myself. Three, two, back on. So once again, these are 15 pound dumbbells. This workout is giving me a crazy pump. And whoop my butt. One, one, seven, eight, nine, ten. That little twist, we call that let them breathe. That lets the fibers breathe a little bit. Get that blood flow in there. Now we're 15. One, 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 two, one, two, one, two, three. Ah, two, three. All right, halfway there. I got a little walk around. It's okay to do that. We're almost finished. Got three more. Come on, kid. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, one, two, three, four, five. Ah. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Make it good, baby. Make it good. Right here. We're going six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Elbows tight. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that is my arms are swole, and I love it. From your, from your boy Corey G. Feels awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Should we put that last line again? Can we get it over? Yeah, just that, just the last line. <laughs> that was killer. It's just a talking part. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just get that last six. Uh -huh. <laughs> we might have an argument. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. And that is my arms are swole, and I love it, from your boy, Corey G. Thank you. Good. Kill up. Great. Got it. Nice. Oh, my God. That, that one looked tough. Yeah. They're all tough. <laughs> <laughs> They're all meant to do on one per day, not yeah. five per day. <laughs> Man. That was good. I'm a little closer to the wall too. Yeah, just so it's a little grounded. Good, nice. Yeah, love it, buddy. Yes, yeah, nice, Corey. Good, 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 good. And then maybe a couple of you come like, kind of like, yeah, here, and then come on, like, really making that eye contact. Come up a little higher so I can see your chest. Good, nice, yeah, good. Love it. And then just a couple of serious ones. Nice, Corey. Good. Let's go with uh, uh, the weights, and then yep. again. Are you good with these? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Nice, love it, Corey. Good, good, good. Yeah, bud. Nice. Woo! Nice, love it, love it. Yeah, I see that old school kind of, yeah, beautiful. Classic right there. Nice, Corey. Good. Nice, buddy. Good. Yep, Corey, good. Nice. 
Good, 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 good. One. Nice, nice, boy. Good, good. Right, nice. That's good. That's good. Even flexing is a workout. Yeah. <laughs> I said this way. Yeah. Good. One more. Oh, we're good. We got it. We got it. Good. Nice. Nice. Good, Corey. Love it. Nice. Good. I think I like the other one better. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Great. But I think we might need to shoot from a different angle. Yeah. Um, you kind of really come around more like where the computer is. Yeah, this is a chest work. Yep. Yeah. So we're using your chest. Nice. Good. Good. Awesome. And now try this fork on. Good. Nice, nice fork. Good. Nice. Ah. I love the emotion. Is this yeah, awesome? Okay. I, yeah, because this is fine. Yeah. Because they want it personality. It seems like it seems like him, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice work. Good. Nice. Nice work. Good. Awesome. Cool. Nice. Good. Yeah, score. Good, good, good. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. Cool. We got it. So let's do the press here. <laughs> nice, score. Good. Awesome. You just got a little bit here. Good. And go. Nice. Good, score. Good. One more. Nice. Good. I'm good, so you're good if you need Can, uh, tell me what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the light just a little bit, sorry. Does that feel like hundred pounds? Not really. It's just awkward. Oh. <laughs> good, yeah. Nice, nice. Strong Corey, good. Corey, can you engage the lots a little bit more? Good. And is there any way you can rotate? I just want that light to scrape other way, other way. Keep on going. Keep on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Also, you should hug the thing a little bit more. Yeah. Nice, Corey. Good. And then if you can rotate around back towards me, if that's possible. You're almost there. Nice, nice, Corey. Good, 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 good. Should you bring it in closer? Corey, can you bring it in a little closer? Nice, nice, nice. Relax, relax, relax. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Do you you do you have another one in you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So let me pull that out. Um, we want it, you want it in closer, or yeah, where do you right want? It? You want it up in my chest? Yeah, because that's really the reference. Well, the other thing that that thing's huge, which is why you're so wrapped around it. Yeah. But I can try to get it a little bit higher. Yeah, let's try it. Um. Cool. And then, Corey, give me one second. I just want to make yeah. sure that we make this get everything. This is... Good. Can you tilt forward? Just rotate your back around. One more. Yep. Nice. Corey, can you rotate slightly? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> good I wish. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I just don't know if I can hold like it any this, higher. I feel like this ball should be more towards your stomach. Like, cusp in, like almost like a pregnant lady. Alright. Alright, one. You got it, man. 
Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Nice work. Nice, nice. Nice. Nice work. Good, good, good. Nice, nice work. Good, 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 good. Can you just tuck your head into it around? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You got it, Corey. You got it, buddy. Let's go, go, go. Nice. Front, front, front. Nice, buddy. Yeah. Good job, man. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, listen, five pump 30 workouts, an extra cardio workout, an extra ab workout, a bunch of promos in the high rise at the Hearst Tower in New York City. And then at the end, but you just got to watch it. They're like, hey, Corey, do you want to pick up this stone, take some pictures, prance around with it? Amazing. But it's going to be in the magazine, so I did it. But we are done. And now, heading over to Marshall Sports, pick up my boy Fights. And I need some ice cream. No! What call of no! <laughs> What's up? I think we want to do one more, but okay. it's going to be tighter. Okay. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Are you serious? Is it really that, like, are you, yeah. you you're are done? You, you tapped off. You I know I'm tired from the workout. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing, man? This is Trey Long. Trey Long, what's up, bro? How you doing? John. I did. Yeah, you should do those. I just did five of the new Pump 30 workouts for men's health today. Damn. Like, you were doing them on camera? Yeah, all like all the way through. Really? And then they're like, can you add this? And then dude, it was like eight hours later, they're like, hey, we got this fucking Atlas Stone. Can you pick up this Atlas Stone and take pictures for the magazine? I'm like, holding this fucking stone. <laughs> I'm like, and the dude's like, can you move to the left? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, this is a fucking joke. Yeah, yeah, super sick. But have I you done, been in mental health? I know you've done a couple. Of I've things. done a bunch of like internet stuff and like a little baby stuff in magazine. Not like this. It was like uh, mental health fucking real. Yeah, cool, man. Thanks, bro. <laughs> hey, we're about to be forty six. I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> so no, it, it was good. Forty six. Forty six. Yeah. Cleans or deadlift? No, no squat, 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 deadlift. Deadlift. Yeah, we all do it. Cleans are harder. Cleans are harder. Uh, I have to look at the or anything like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I think you can do three fights, no problem. And then I think. Three fights! Yeah. I like how he's saying it's like. <laughs> he, no. can, he put up. Yeah. What did you do with the combine? No, you saw that. That yeah. was uh, 135, like. No, it was 135. Right? 245. Yeah. So yeah. I did 45. Yeah, that's real good. Yeah, I remember because we were watching it. Yeah. Because like, yeah, when he came to my gym. Like all the dudes at my spot were like, White's is fucking jacked. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, he ke he keeps a low key on here. <laughs> like, oh, but yeah. it was it was it was cool to have him in. So that, we, dude, what, that place was the fucking best. Yeah. Where's your gym? It's in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Oh god. I got like a, it's called old school gym. So it's like a retro 1970s like bodybuilding powerlifting oh, gym. Cool. So it's like the it's, coolest it's thing about that. Fourth, fourth generation. Luckily, I only had to do it for like six months, and that's I saved great. money to start my business when I was like twenty. So right. a long time ago, but nice. yeah, it's pretty wild. Fantastic. Yeah, it's cool. Cool man. That could be a hard job. Man. Yeah, it's like working under your kitchen table all day, shoveling on your fucking knees. It sucks. <laughs> I just remember doing it, thinking. I'm gonna be a personal trainer one day. <laughs> I need to get the fuck out of here. It's like my friends would be like, "Dude, you're the real uh, what's um, Blue Steel, the fucking um, um uh, Zoolander." He's like, "Dude, yeah, you're yeah. the real fucking Zoolander, bro." <laughs> it's funny. Everything I know about coal mining, I learned from October Sky. Oh yeah, the Jake right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I remember watching that and thinking, I'll probably end up working with rockets. <laughs> <laughs> so he was the first weightlifter and the first coal miner. Oh, really? And so my grandfather was only nine at the time. He was already teaching him how to lift weights. And then that's the guy who taught me how to lift weights. But my dad, his dad, my grandparents, all my uncles, like every, everybody, Whoa. all miners. Cool. Yeah. yeah, so it's pretty cool. cool. So it's good. Uh, so like, I'm the only one, everyone else lifted weights too, but they just did it as their hobby, obviously. Mm. After they come home from working fucking 50 hours, they'd still be benching 300 pounds. Wild. When did you start lifting? Uh, so my grandfather, I'm, I moved in, uh, my parents got divorced when I was 11, and we had to live with my grandparents like right around that time, and he started teaching me lifting weights then. So I was probably like, like 12 or 13 years old. And then I caught on to it, and I, I like missed about two months my freshman year of high school, but since my sophomore year of high school, I've never missed more than a week probably. Really? Yeah, like dead on. Sure, yeah. a lot of peaks and valleys, a lot of wins and losses, some injuries here and there, but like I've competed since I was 17 every year. 
and we are all lifting our bodybuilding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty, you know, it's good. I mean, when I told people I wanted to be a personal trainer or lift weights to get paid back in the whole country, there's no internet. <laughs> they didn't know any personal trainers. So it sounded like a fictitious fucking idea job. And here we are, Did right? They invented it? Yeah, basically, <laughs> like Richard Simmons is the only personal <laughs> trainer they know. And I was like, whoa, I love that. So yeah, it's kind of, it's been a wild ride, dude, for sure. But I mean, look, we're making money on the internet, as are you, and it's like, life's changed, you know yeah. what I mean? So my mom runs a customer service for my app. I mean, it's like, the world's not even the same place it was. <laughs> so it's pretty wild. Cool. So, yeah. What kind of content do you create? Uh, similar stuff to John, I, yeah. I do, uh, you know, videos and podcasts. And That's cool. Right, blogs. Francis is a comedian. Oh, okay, comedian. Let's see. Probably. <laughs> a little bad. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Um, just whatever they have, like the, the Knicks game one. Uh, yeah, Knicks yeah, game one. That's like cool. Electric chair, whatnot, comes through here. Oh, yeah. Um, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, bro, I realized the town plays the fuck out of all this. Sandbagging motherfucker. That's it. How you doing, sir? Have a good night. Good night. Bye, Terry. Yo, I never would have thought I would have got this guy in here. What up, Kenny? Hey, you doing, sir? I'm sorry. You're awesome, bro. You good? I'm rolling. Hi, your boy Corey G. I'm here with John from Arsenal Sports KFC Radio, and he is going to try the thousand pound club. I'm in town shooting men's health. And I'm gonna be here to help him. We got our boy Kenny Santucci right here. We're at Strong New York. And we're gonna see can jump equal up a thousand pounds between squats, bench, and deadlift. I think the consensus is that he's a fucking sandbagger and I think he can do it. But we're about to find out today. I don't think I don't think I think I'll be close. I think I'll be like I'll cross nine. I don't think I'll get yeah. But I've been competing in powerlifting since I was 17 years old, so I'm gonna make sure that he sticks to the rules <laughs> and that it's legit, so no one can hate on him. <laughs> is it like? I, I'm gonna have to warm up. What? The <laughs> he's like, <laughs> what is yeah, that? We just blown off weights, right? Oh, I, said, I, would, I would highly recommend. Uh, obviously. <laughs> now, Kenny, in your professional opinion, we should probably <laughs> warm up. Probably yes. Warm up a couple sets. <laughs> 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 So, All right, do we, right, can we, uh, I'm just going to follow your lead here. Yeah. So this I just got to do. I know he's going to get the thousand pound cover from this bad boy right here. I want XL. Is that XL? Is that too big? Nah, I don't think so. We'll find out. That's like the official like order. Okay. okay. So we'll uh, warm was... up. So my thing, I don't know uh, currently what your leg training is like. But I would say Whatever like, you say So dude. what I would say Is that maybe we go like One or two minutes of lunges Just like a bunch of blood Because you just ran yesterday right? I ran yesterday So I think we go one minute of lunges And then we'll just get them to the bar And we'll just warm up the group Okay That's going to be the best way So walking lunges One minute Don't fight over Go Set that clock Yeah <laughs> There we go Getting him warmed up Oh, no. You see that warmer knee behind his toe? Yeah. What are you expecting? I'm thinking too, I think, Final Birds, the sandbagger. He's probably been squatting every day for the last year and he's been telling them. <laughs> I've been squatting once a week. <laughs> see? <laughs> That's good. Um, but we're going to make sure he just hits proper depth, work up, nice and easy. And I think he's a man on 365. Which is so crazy. What are you saying? Oh, I don't know. three plates. I need to do three plates. Yeah. 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 So that, that means 365. I'm going to see if he's got a belt and straps. I should have brought that. That's what I should have Because then we're going to say, like, fucking knee wrapping his ass. All right, so I can go, like, 15 with the bar and just kind of check it out. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. I do have a torn leg. Oh, yeah, same. Oh, so that's why you do a torn arrow. Yes. That's perfect right there. I 
know we were shooting a promo. <laughs> I got the pretty extreme too. If you That's what I used for the. He, he ain't ready for that, I don't think. Buddy, you put a little of this between your butt cheeks, you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great combo. I don't know from experience. I don't know from experience, but I just heard. I read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It. it was on Reddit. <laughs> this is gonna set. This is gonna set right. Oh, I'm set. Used to just working out on SSRIs, but there you go. There you go. Straight to the jaw. I would just add this quarter. Let's go there. You just want to jump to a plate? Hey, plate jumper. Let's go. All right? Why not? Go. We wasted time for here. Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> Yep. Out of there. Good. Easy money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nice work. Oh, oh, another glue. Let's go. I was thinking in my mind when I started today that I was going to do this with you, and then I got my ass kicked in mental. That I was like, what is it? Like if you haven't done it like this in a while, but I mean my best ever like competition. Seventeen? Yeah. Jimmy. Christmas. Seventeen's nuts. I did uh I did stitch out. So with just like a double knee wraps, I went in a competition I went five fifty back squad, three fifty bench, and then five seventy five as I see. Wait, what was it? I went five fifty. Three blues and a green are? Three blues and a green? Yes. I know it's like. So it'd be 365 in a normal set, but this is the Lico set, right? Yeah, so. It's a little. It's basically 365. Yeah. Okay. Move on? You think that's it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that's probably. I, you were coming out of there pretty slow. I was, I was yeah. I think that with the hit thing and all that. Yeah. I was. If, but if I if I fucking miss by 20 pounds, you're not. Because you know what's going to happen? Is you're going to bench with the bench. And then you're going to know, I have to deadlift this. <laughs> and then you're going to look at that bar and go, that has to come off the ground. <laughs> and that's when shit gets real. I should have brought some nose to the what? That's smelling salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that would have been good. That would have been 
That's a mess up on my part right there. Man. So, Feidelberg squatted 352. So if we do 1,000 minus 352, we're at 648. So, between the next two lifts, we have to average 324. That's, oh, that's easy, bro. I don't, you guys keep saying this. <laughs> These are big numbers. <laughs> this guy's in the 1,000 pound club. I, I know it. I feel it. So, we're going to have the bench press. He's an easy bench press 375. He can touch 300. Then it's a wrap. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. We're about to find out right now. <laughs> Shout out to Kenny Santucci for having us at his gym. This fucking place is awesome. There he is right Appreciate there. Appreciate your boys sexy. being here. Look at Appreciate that. your boys being here. I think that's... Right here? Yeah. All right. Well, let's... Fuck it. Let's do it. You want to uh, go plate? One plate? Start, yeah. yeah. Try one plate. This might be one of my favorite fitness days in a while. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think men tells most of the water on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I would, just, one, I would go. I would three. go three here and three. then singles after this. Two. One, two. Three. Your work. Go. One. Two. Three. Good. Easy. Man. Oh yeah. Dude, they're not gonna let you compete in any of the combines ever again, bro. <laughs> yeah, everybody's gonna be tired. Will you doing it. Will's a fucking <laughs> athlete. <laughs> All right, single here. What's what's the time like you should be waiting in between? You think? Usually like a minute or two after this one, probably, just to make sure you're good. Right. One, two, Three. your work. Yep. Easy. Yeah, I'd give yourself a little bit of room on this one, a little bit of time. Plate. How are you feeling so far, John? I'm feeling good right now. Yeah. I'm you ran a 5K yesterday. Yeah. That jelly roll was that. Who else was there? Uh, Travis Barker, Bert Kreischer, Tom Segura. Um, what's your boy's name? Cam, you Cam Haynes. Cam Haynes. Yeah. Who's um, an absolute stud. Dude, he was like, him and Travis Barker were just like full sprint. The fact that time. Travis Barker is like that much of a freak at run. I mean, I'm not surprised. He's it a small, like a leaner dude. Crazy. That's full, impressive, though. Full sprint. Oh, every time I saw him, full sprint. When he finished, I don't know if I said right. When he finished, he just kept running. <laughs> Up at the people like, I don't know. For all we know, he's still running right now. This guy. <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> all right, about 225 on the bar now. Your call. What, do I, what am I supposed to say here? Uh, just three, two, one, whenever you're okay. ready. Yep. Three, two, one. Yep. Your weight. Drop. Oh! Do you see how easy that was? Do you see what I'm saying here? Put a quarter on that bitch. Let's go. Easy money. Honestly, that one looked better than the last one. Yeah. That, that was that. Like, that was like that was good. Take a look. Honestly, the first. Little I wasn't baby sure breathe. how like I don't think I've ever had a spot. So yeah. So probably I when I lifted sure. it, it probably was weird. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my bad. It is kind of weird because if you're not used to that, when you get used to it though, you don't want it any other way. And actually, if somebody knows what they're doing, because they take it out right in position and it just sat there and all you gotta do is go boom, boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when you're used to lifting by yourself all the time, you're like. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I'm the opposite, I never lift by myself. There's always a crew of guys, so it's like with our, with our powerlifting group, so. It's like there's always somebody to lift off or whatever. I think I've had like in high school, you know, like yeah. your buddies standing with you, but never. I don't think I've ever had a real spot. Before. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time. Yeah. I love it. I love it. All right. All right. Come on, strong now. Three, two, one. Your work fights. Right there, kid. Come on. Drive. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, we got to strategize, though. I think we need to be, we need to at least get three. So if you jump to three and for some reason you miss it, Wait, it could, mean? so meaning like, we need to take 300 next, I think. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. go to 315, because we need every, we want to make sure we get every right, pound. Right, right. Because I would rather than try to, and this is what happens in some of the power that meets, you jump too high and then you can never go down. Which we could, but my point is, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to fuck yourself, basically. Yeah. So, so I say, so, so, right so, so no, I say we go, um, we need like a five and a two and a half. You got some change, Kenny, like a five and a two? Yeah. Uh
Ten and a two. Three hundo. Come on, fights. This is where we say, show the fuck up. <laughs> show the show fuck the up. up. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Come on, kid. Strong. Tight. Hell yeah. Three, two, one. All day. Oh, you. Got it. Come on. Drive, John. No, mm -hmm. oh, fuck. I have that. I have that. Fuck. You want to wait and try it again? I have that. All right, all right. See, now this is, where, this is where it can become epic. You come back after you miss a weight. That's fucking gangster. So we're gonna, what? It's a fucking gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I, had, I thought that was going to be easier. Yeah. Fuck. Now he's going to collect his thoughts. He's going to think about it. I got cocky. I got yeah. Cocky. <laughs> it was. I mean, it, it was going pretty good. But see, there's a little adversity here yeah. today. A little <laughs> adversity. A little adversity. It's okay. Give yourself, give yourself a minute. Well, it's hard to do all three lifts in the same day, too. A lot of people don't think, but when you go to powerlifting meets, like, it's tricky because then when we also are competing with like 50 people or more, you do all three squats and you wait like two hours before you bench. And then you have to rewarm up and then you have to rewarm up for deadlift. So it's like a. How six, long does like a meet take? Yeah, like six or eight hours, depending on how many people are there. So it's like you're almost like, I mean, I'm doming pre workout three times that day because I'm like, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like getting the deadlift. I'm just like, I'm just ready to go. Effective, you either lift it or you don't lift it. Yeah. I mean, people could say, oh, you didn't go down far enough or some bullshit like that. But the reality is it's you versus the weight. That's why I like it so much. What is the uh, meat like take on a bounce? Like, like at the combine when they're doing it? Well, so in the meats, you have to pause it on your chest. Oh, so when yeah. I said 350, that was 350. Then they tell you to press it. No way. Yeah. So we're not doing a meat press. Like it's just like, combat when there's like yeah, no, 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 no it's no. not. So this is just a touch and go. Like then this would count for any thousand pound club at any college or high school, right? Yeah. In the powerlifting meets, it, you have to go, you take it out and they say, all right, uh, whatever you're there and you go down and then you have to wait for the head judge to say press. Then you press it and then you rack it. Yeah. Dude, very, it's like very, science, yeah, dude. it's very different. <laughs> it usually sucks about 50 pounds off everybody's bench, like real quick. I can imagine. Yeah, because there's no momentum. And even just like the knowledge of like, I feel like the, the anxiety of being like, is he going to fucking say it? Like, oh yeah, and I've had some ones that are quick calls and you have some other ones that you're like, I've been fucking down here. Because they also say like, if the bar doesn't quit moving, they'll just wait. So you might load it kind of fast, bang, and you're just waiting because you're, you're ready to shoot like a cannon. And if you go... Like this, they still won't say it. And so it has to like completely stop motion. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. They so learned something. All right, now fucking smoke this. Let's go. <laughs> it's all fucking day. Come on. Come on, John. Come on. All day, kid. Come on. Strong. Get tight. Get tight. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Your work. I got you. Come on. Let's go. That's it, right there. Go. Towards me. Towards me, fights. Nope. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I still think I fucking have that. My like, left shoulder gave up and out. Fucking motherfucker. All right. So we're going to give this guy a little bit of a break. We need to get a few more pounds, I think. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go. Let's see. That was 275. We're going to try to go 280. That was 275? No, that was 300. Oh. You made 275. But we're going to go. We're gonna go 285 so you can try to get 10 more pounds though. Right. I think that's what I think that's what we need to do. So leave these on the side. I'll get us some fives. Take a little break and we'll smoke it. But 285 will help us. <laughs> Cause then we'll know exactly what you have to deadlift. Deadlift is cool. That's the thing that sucks about it too. Deadlift's the only one I don't do at all. Yeah, so I perfect. Have, I have Great. No idea what my deadlift is. That's amazing. <laughs> we'll teach him deadlift and see how much he can do. <laughs> All right, smoke this shit. Come on, nice and tight fights. Come on, let's go. All day. <clears throat> Fucking let me light. So should I be, like when I'm starting this, before mm -hmm. I say go, yeah. should I be full flexed? Yeah, so it's like you want to be like tight, almost like you're just like about to load that thing into a fucking spring, bro. That's what they say when power lifts go tight, 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 tight. Okay, so yeah. I've been being like, I've been, I've been loose as a goose. Yeah, no, lift tight. Okay. All right, let's try this. You got it. Come on. Three. Tight. Two. One. 
Yep, really cat. Go get it now. Go get it. Drive. Drive. Nope. Fuck. I get too smoked. Dude, mother. Fuck. Welcome to powerlifting, Fidelberg. <laughs> you think one thing's gonna go good and the other one. It's like I, golfing, like your putter is good, but your driver sucks. I keep saying my left shoulder is the one that's going to. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. All right, so we ended up at 275. Let's do some math real quick. I'm so, not gonna get this. No, he is. 352 plus 275 is 627. So we take 1,000 minus 627, and our guy has to deadlift 373. You could do that in your fucking sleep. To get this is the one I don't do. So yeah. I don't, I don't have a clue. All reps, let me just see what it looks like. All right, we need some work here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a couple things. Let's try this and see if it feels. So what we want to do is tr try to make your body like a spring. Okay. Okay. And so when you're here, and this is how all, like athletes deadlift, they don't know how to deadlift basically. <laughs> when you get here, you're kind of blocked on your knees. Do yeah. you feel that way? Yeah. Or so sure. you have like no like like no pop basically. So what I always teach is bring your feet in a little bit closer and then go here. And then whenever you get to the bar, you're like kind of loading your legs. If okay. you look, so then it's like, when I'm here, I'm loading my legs and then it's like a spring. Okay. Just try to see if that feels any better. So get your feet a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Try to load your quads and then chest up and just pull. Not too bad, right there. Try to think, John, more this way like over the bar, not behind the bar. A little bit. With my chest? Yeah, a little bit. Right there, yeah. Now, pull the bar straight through. Yeah, there you go. That looked like it come off the ground a little bit easier. See, it's easier to teach sumo, but you said you got no labrum, right? Like, Let's see what it feels like. So, here, so when I teach sumo, it would be like this. I'd come up, put my, put my heels like right here with these lines, and then all you gotta do is come here, boom. Yeah, I, th I think it might be too. When like, it's my right hip when it's wider, when I get wider. So I would go right at those lines, yeah, there you go. Ah, never mind, I can't get down like that. And then chest up, knees out. Chest up, knees out. No, that it, looks it looks stable, yeah. unstable. All right, all right, so. This is going to be real. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that? Just singles. Singles. singles Just yeah. singles. Once you engage the bar, just chest up and go. Yeah, there you go. That was good, John. That looked too bad. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I look good. I always just think like when I get in there, as soon as I get here, just go. boom and boom. Yep. You push off your heels, yeah? Yeah, just like, it's almost like, like I said, I'm trying to load my, really my quads. Right. When you say that, when you say load, like what does that really, like, so like you're, you're my, flexed, you're well, go? it's more like, uh, it's more like my body is shifted like right into like, I feel like I can jump. Okay. So that's when I, Okay. Yeah, so it's like, that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to get here and I'm trying to jump with the fucking bar, basically. Okay. But jumping off your heels? No, no, it's, a, yeah, it's your full foot. Full foot? But you're gonna be a little bit towards like your ball a little bit because you're gonna be like a little bit shifted forward. Okay. So it's gonna feel like it's like, you're literally like you're. Okay, so yeah. I've been going heel because I, I guess squats heel, right? I gotta get three on the bench, man. I gotta yeah, I was so, yeah, I'm surprised, but you might honestly be tired from, from flying. Yeah. Like that fucks you up, dude. <laughs> I know, because I got here the first like, first of the two workouts, I was like, I did good, but I just like, it took my body a little while to wake up from that cabin pressure, bro. I yeah. think it fucks you up. Yeah, that's fine. We're not, we're not really yeah. made for that, yeah. you know what I mean? Over, under, I mean, you, what you been doing is fine, I think, yeah. yeah. As soon as you get locked in, there you go. Yeah, back, yeah. That was better, that was better. That was better, that was better, that was better, that was better. And I was like, what are you talking about? 
Just let me know when you want me to say something about this. And I was like, oh. like about how you looked. I was like, Damn. Right. Damn. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I was Dude, but I'll tell you what, those are the people who keep you accountable. Yeah, yeah. and they care about like, you. Uh -huh. Because, you know, if somebody's not going to say something, the amount of people I've insulted into working on it. So the guy with the cutoff sleeve shirt. That looked good. Tight. Good. Chest up. Oh, yeah. Nice. That looked pretty good, dude. That was a good position. Good. So what, what did he hit on bench? 300? No, I didn't get it. Missed it. 275. 275. He needs to pull 373. He needs to pull 373. Yep. He can do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what we're selling. That's what I just had to learn the fucking stance. Yeah, I just taught him how to. I just taught him how to deadlift. No. Rarely, rarely ever deadlift. How old are you? Come on. Tight now. Come on, fights. Good. Chest up. Go back, 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 back. Yeah, all day. It's a fucking wrap. <laughs> you got this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He got it. I think, hey, I think we just go to it and say, fuck it. Go to it? Yes, right now. So we need a quarter, which would be 365. What does he need to get it? He needs 373. Well, I guess we did the math. It's 373, I remember. Yeah. And this was, we did, this is what he squatted, which was 352. So you know how it, what we do in the meets when we approach this bar? We say, don't quit fucking pulling this motherfucker. You're willing to go to the hospital. <laughs> That's what this is right now, fights. Gotta get this this is what this is. This is the fucking time. Let's go. Gotta have it. 373 for 1,000 pound club right now. Let's go. All fucking day. Hey, same exact shit. Come on. Same thing, John. Come on. Tight. Come on. Come on, chest up. Gotta go! Back! 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 Yeah! <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about! Thousand pound club right now. John Feidelberg, Barcelona. This has gotta be the best athlete at Barcelona sports right now. I know it! Don't listen to that, Will. Like Kenny said, two blues and a green, 275 to everyone's eyes. But this is kilograms. And there could be a, dis a discrepancy on the bench press, which means Feidelberg only bench 265 in actual kilogram plates because okay. we added them up wrong, which means you have to come back and bench at least 275. Okay. But he thinks he can bench more than that, so we're going to work back up on the bench, okay. and now it's time. I like so it. I like this because like it's, like, like it. it's like real game time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you could deadlift more than three. I mean, that was like... I, I, mean, could, I could do maybe... 10 more pounds, pounds if you had to. Yeah. But would you rather get it on the bench? Let's get it on the bench. All right, I like that. All right, cool. Bro, oh, I suck at math. You start throwing yeah. kilos, I don't have a clue. Yeah. I just know by the by the colors of the plates or by what the plates look like. I just added in my head. Um, you do look more comfortable this way, though. Yeah. That's your more normal. That's my bad. I should have recognized that. I was trying to be all official. <laughs> Come on, jump tight. Yep. Smoke. Good. So, what do you want to do? You just want to go to it, or you want to, or you want to take this and then go one more? I mean, probably the least amount of reps possible, huh? Come on, fights. Come on. Dial in. Let's go. Normal. Easy work. Come on. Let's go. Your work. Drive. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's the spot. Towards me. Towards me. Towards me. Yep. So, that spot was perfect. That spot you hit was better than the first two. And then when you went like this, and I said towards me, you went back in your groove, and that's yeah. why you got it. So you just need to do that one more time, and you're good. Okay. So we just need to add that, that blue one. That's it. And you just gotta do exactly what you just did. <laughs> but only when it comes out of there, don't let, it, don't let it float that way. You know what I'm saying? Keep it going back. Yeah, just keep it like, not straight back, but in that same line you had. That looked really good, though. Dude, after running a 5K yesterday, this is a multi-sport athlete. Today he's a power lifter. <laughs> so good. The current uh, record, world record holder of Barstool Sports is uh, bench contest of 135 <laughs> or 42 reps. No, Compton beat me. Oh, the, oh yeah. Well, Will played in the league. Come on. Compton was also. 
this, this keeps coming up a lot. Cobden was bouncing a lot. Oh, I'm sure. There was a lot of fucking combine. That's how they do it. They combine. Yeah, a lot of combine. How many did he do? Like 50? 43, I think. He beat you by one. Yeah. He went second, too. I think if I went after him, yeah. he gave me a benchmark. But Jeez. That's funny. Gotta have it, John. It's yours. Fucking take it. Take what's yours, dude. Come on. I got you. Let's go. Same spot. Come on, bro. Tight, 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 tight. All day. All day, John. All day. Come on. That's it. Right there. Back towards me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. That was the best rep yet. Bro, that was the best rep yet. Let's keep going. Fuck yeah, you got another one in you. I think you got another one in you. That was fucking perfect. So, if that's a 275, we'll go. You want to go? You want to try 300? I mean, let's, let's try. I don't know. I'm gonna. Yeah. Gonna or do you want to? Or you want to try to just make a weight? So probably go like, honestly, probably 285. Okay. Yeah. So we would just add another one of those fives. So go two blues. Yeah. I think that. I think that gets us there. Right, Trey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grab this other blue right here. Go. I'll be in our sale. I feel tomorrow. I haven't done five workouts in a day. <laughs> I might have done two workouts in a day. Five workouts in a fucking day is a lot. Dude, when they, when they were like, hey, we need to get this picture of you holding this Atlas stone. And they show me this picture of this guy. And he's like this, holding this stone. And they just want me to hold it like that and take pictures. I'm like, dude. What's a stone weigh? This one was only like 100 or 120 pounds. It wasn't that heavy, but it was eight hours after all those yeah, workouts. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, and I'm trying, and I have to hold it with that rounded position. It was just awkward That's as shit. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, yeah, basically it's pretty funny. And then I kept dropping it kind of on the floor hard. So people like from the floor below started coming up because they thought something was wrong. No way. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, wrestling match going on. Yeah. yeah. All right, you make this, come on. All right, come on. Hold day, jump. Same fucking spot, bro. Same fucking spot. Let's go. Come on. Tight. Oh, no wrist loss there. Hang on. Mm. You good? Come on. I got gotcha. you. All right, your work. Come on. Nope. 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 We're done. <laughs> we're done. But good thing <laughs> is, we're at a thousand. He still fucking hit it. Now what I need to do is make this man a thousand pound club t-shirt. We used to have him <laughs> at the old school gym back in the day. Did you? It might be time to bring it back. <laughs> one of one for my man John Feidelberg. So what what what's your thoughts? How'd it feel? I I thought the bench I did better. Than I thought I would on deadlift. Yeah. Squat was right about where I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Bench was way worse than I thought it was going to be. So, does it make you want to work on those numbers to elevate that total now, or it, you just like feel good that like I know I'm at least that strong? No, it's it's not like I got to get more. I got to get three on the bench. I'm very impressed yeah. about that. Yeah. That's fucking bullshit. That's, yeah. Uh, but it's also hard to like like I've I've, I've never done a one rep max. I've never had a spot yeah, like yeah. that. Like. It's hard. I feel like it's hard to get better. Yeah, when you don't have help sometimes. It's, it's yeah, like yeah. A fucking New York sports club. Yeah, probably. Correct. Like, I, like I think probably the lowest reps I've done is three, three. Yeah, yeah. Which. But still, you can get yourself in trouble. But one, you yeah. definitely. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna do? Just roll it off of you? Yeah, the three. You know, the three is rare too. Yeah. But well, that's good, I'm man. Gonna, well, I'm, ha I'm happy to hit that. It actually, I think I'm leaving this disappointed. Really? Yeah. Because I, I want, I, I wanted to hit thousand, hit thousand. That's cool. Yeah. I did. I wanted to be better on the bench. Yeah. I'm not leaving disappointed. I knew you would get it. I think it was harder than we both thought it was going to be for you, for sure. But I will tell you, like, if we had belt and knee wraps, like you can, and we fucking now he knows how to fucking deadlift. <laughs> that would help. You could probably go 100 more pounds once you just practice it. So I think you could easily end up at 11 1200 relatively quick once you go three mid fours like it, it could be right around a corner so this I gotta is just a muscle island for that and that is a great segue we will do it in muscle island stay tuned we're building it right now dude thanks for doing this this was Thank awesome you, hey, hey, man, on, man. awesome it's my fucking honor it's so good so good